Well, good evening, everyone. It's day 41 of my carnivore diet adventure. Um, had a little movement, lost some water weight last night, so went, uh, which was nice. So dropped about, I don't know, nearly a pound. Um, but that's okay because that's some weight that I'd been just carrying from before. So again, up and down. What's really interesting though is that I think I'm onto something. I I went back and added. So I've been tracking my sleep score from my watch, but I hadn't really been tracking the hours, the amount of time I actually slept. And I, having gone back and looked at some of the information, I think there might be a link there. So um, I need to dig into it. I want to look into it a little bit more and kind of see. But I, I think I'm onto something. And if I am, I'll make a separate video about that because it's something that not a lot of people talk about how important sleep is. Um, so I just want to look into it a little bit more and see if I, if I think that I'm actually onto something there. But we will see. Um, went to work today, uh, had a few sort of did did about most of my steps today, 6,000 steps. Um, pretty good diet, so pretty excited about that. I didn't get to the gym because I ended up working late again tonight. I'm, I'm trying to learn a new video editing. So to do all these videos that I do, I normally use Adobe Premiere Pro, and I've kind of got to the point where I have a nice, easy workflow, and I can... I can record this and then have it out in about 10 minutes afterwards. The mo most of the time is in rendering um, the video. But I've talked to a bunch of people in the industry, a bunch of film editors and stuff who I know, and they're all telling me that I really should learn DaVinci Resolve. And I know this is nothing to do with diet, so just bear with me for a second. But anyway, the point is I'm trying to learn a new tool, and so I ended up spending most of the day and into the early evening just trying to edit a video to see if I can kind of do the same thing so it'll kind of have the same look and feel as we do now if I start using the new tool. So I was trying to teach myself this afternoon and I ended up working a, a lot later than I thought I would so I didn't go to the gym but I've had good diet today. Um, I have had a few again peanuts but trying to stay away from peanut butter which I think is also working. I'm a lot happier with that. So if I just eat a few peanuts, and when I say a few, I mean 50 grams, and, and that's it. That's pretty much all I'll allow myself every day. Um, and that seems to be okay for me. So not sure what I have in store tomorrow. Uh, it depends on what the weather is. The weather's been really variable. Um, it was terrible earlier today um, in the morning, and then it so sort of was clearing up by the end of the night if it's nice tomorrow then I'll probably try and go for a long walk with my wife or something in the afternoon and, and see if we can get out and, and walk for I don't know 10k or something like that and um, that would be some nice exercise just to get out and walk around and get some fresh air at the same time um, and then maybe try and get back into the gym next week my son's on uh, break for the week so I don't have to get up and take him to school in the morning so it might give me an opportunity to get up early and go to the gym before I start work which could be a good thing to try as well um, so I don't know we'll see a couple of things but it's Saturday night it's um, 11 30 so <laughs> I'll probably keep it short again tonight not not a tremendous amount to report um, I have noticed actually just one more thing before I go um, I have noticed that when I'm trying on clothes, they are fitting much better now. And I think that's, again, from the weight loss that's coming from this. And I was looking back at some of my old data, and I realized that when I lost all that weight the first time a few years ago, it took me about four and a half, five months to lose just over 11 pounds. And that was going to the gym every day, doing diets, all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, and it was it was a lot harder work and it took a lot more time. Whereas this, the carnivore diet and doing really, really strict keto has has really stripped the weight off much, much quicker. And I I feel a lot better for it. I'm not exhausted because when I was running 5K, I mean, I got pretty 
serious about it in the beginning and I was like killing myself trying to run all that and I was doing at one point I was doing 10k five or six days a week on the treadmill um which was too much and and some of the trainers told me it was too much so I just spent most of my time exhausted um and it was almost counterproductive whereas this I'm eating more I'm eating more calories than I was eating then and I'm doing less exercise but my body seems to be adjusting to it better and I feel better and I'm getting more sleep as well because I'm not spending so much time in the gym and I'm actually at home and going to bed early. So there's a whole bunch of factors at play here. Um, and maybe I'll do a maybe I'll do a separate video on that as well. Sort of when I was doing more of an Atkins style, low carb, not zero, um, or on nearly zero like I'm doing now, and doing tons of exercise at the same time versus doing this diet because I'm trying to eliminate and solve some problems, but the side effect is a really nice, you know, boost in, in, in getting thinner as well. So could be an idea there also. So I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and do something a little bit different than just these short updates every day. Cause I think it would be a little bit more interesting for everyone. It'd certainly be more interesting for me because doing these is kind of, I just feel like I'm saying the same thing every day and coming up with something new and inventive to say every day is quite difficult when there's nothing new. So yeah, I'll look in, look into those and, and maybe try and do some, some special videos on that. But, um, anyway, I'm going to go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. Stay on your diets, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and, um, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.